Health is regarded as an important possession of a human being, but is often the most neglected one. Catering this sector are an estimated 9.2 million physicians, 19.4 million nurses and midwives, 1.9 million dentists and other dentistry personnel, 2.6 million pharmacists and other pharmacy personnel, and over 1.3 million community health workers. The global healthcare industry is the world's largest and fastest growing industry. But despite the resourcefulness of this industry, it still lags behind in this era of globalization. To surmount the challenge of educating the global public on the importance of hygiene and well-being, Marine Biz TV, the world's first global maritime TV channel in association with Ares Marine, the largest ship design consultancy firm in the Middle East, are launching MediBiz TV's online arm on October 19, 2013. Besides operating via Web TV, the channel's satellite transmission would be launched soon on AppStar 7 C-Band. MediBiz TV will be transmitted across Asia, Africa, Middle East, Eastern and Central Europe and Australia and is estimated to reach over 188 million people across the world. MediBiz TV's rich association with internationally renowned organizations will help it spread the dreams and ideal of organizations like WHO, UNESCO to spread the message of healthy and safe living. MediBiz TV, a channel with global appeal, can be enjoyed and savored by individuals of all ages alike. As a core source of infotainment, it would help the common man understand the importance of test, treat and track and spread the message of good and healthy living. MediBiz TV, an international medical TV channel. Launching soon on AppStar 7, position 76.5E, frequency 3769 MHz, C-band, polarity horizontal, symbol rate 13.333, M-band, FEC 5x6. Healthcare at your doorstep. Good evening ladies and gentlemen and a warm welcome to the launch function of MediBase TV's online arm Web TV. Health is the greatest position, but often the most neglected. I am sure no one could ever deny that. World is facing challenging times. Besides the increasing financial crisis, job insecurity, armed conflicts and fear of life, health seems to have taken a back seat. The threat from emerging and epidemic prone diseases is ever present. According to WHO 2013 report, in an estimated 35% of all deaths of children under 5 years of age, undernutrition is the underlying cause of death, while prematurity is the leading cause of neonatal deaths, which is also the second leading cause in the children under 5. Approximately one quarter of the countries with the highest maternal mortality ratio have made almost insufficient progress. About half the world's population is at the risk of contacting malaria and there is a group of 17 diseases, also referred to as neglected tropical diseases, that affect more than 1 billion people worldwide. And the most shocking report is that more than one third of the global population, that is around 2.5 billion people, lack access to the most basic and improved sanitary facilities. The situation is definitely grave and heart-rendering. Fatty food, junk food, aerated drinks, spicy and sweet dishes have all become a part of our food eating habits, which have led to a condition like obesity, overweight, cholesterol problems, diabetes in children and whatnot. HIV and related diseases have become much more prevalent in our country. Our mortality rate is receding at an alarming level in short. Our health is going through a critical phase of downfall. Hence. To remind you on the role of health in our daily lives, Biz TV Network, in association with Aries Group, is launching Medi Biz TV, 
an international healthcare television channel. A channel with a global appeal, Medibis TV would be the core source of infotainment which will help the sp spread the message of good and healthy living. To throw a light on what Medibis TV is all about, I would like to invite on stage the founder and CEO of Aries Group of Companies and Biz TV Network, the Oscar selected director of DAM 999 and the brain behind this unique innovative concept. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together to Mr. Sohan Roy. Sir, I request you to kindly come on stage and address the gathering. Good evening to one and all in the medical fraternity across the world. If Imagination or dreaming is a disease. I am a high-risk patient. Not only myself, I risk my company, my colleagues, everyone through the virus as a carrier. Few years back, I had a dream. Naturally, my colleagues also started to dream it. It's a common problem with all engineers. Engineers always dream with something five years ahead. And basically, I'm an engineer. You may think, what is the role of an engineer in this medical fraternity? It's a fact that majority, I won't say majority, more engineers work in the medical field than the doctors. It's a fact. You have to admit that any equipment, what you use for the modern uh, in the modern medical science, there is an engineer or there is a dreamer behind that development. But we never get the credit, always the doctors take the credit when you treat using that equipment. Today, here a dream is going to come true. Because always when people dream together, a revolution happens. Any revolution starts from a dream. Here also, it's a collective uh, dream becoming a revolution. It all started six years back. Uh, we, th we had a dream that there should be a place where the professional can meet together, professional from any industry. It's an integration project that was the dream initially. So, how, do, how we can make it possible? So, our search started from there. Then we realized that it is possible only if we have a television channel in our hand to bring all these people under one umbrella. Since we are all from the, we engineers, the, I'm basically a naval architect, so all my colleagues, they are, we are all from the maritime industry. So, we thought of starting a TV channel for the maritime industry. So it, it was an R&D pro project, almost $25 million project. With the six years of hard work, we made that platform. Don't think that it's just a TV channel, that we use the TV channel concept for the integration of the maritime industry. Maritime industry is supposed to be one of the most segregated community. It's spread across almost 200 countries across the world. But in these six years, we could unite almost 230 maritime organizations, major maritime organizations under one umbrella. It was IMC. Now, it is the largest maritime organization, International Maritime Club, where more than 300,000 decision makers are members, primary members, and uh, more than millions as, uh, as the associate members. And now another IMI, International Maritime Institute, has been formed where all the maritime institutes, they are joining hands. And they became the viewers of this particular project. Now, for that, we had to develop so many softwares to make that platform strong. But unfortunately, the recession hit the uh, maritime industry. So we decided it is not the right time to launch it commercially. But we knew that this is high time to launch it commercially at some area. We realized medical industry is the right place to launch it because it is something connected to the public also. So today, that revolution starts in a commercial way 
from the medical industry. What is happening today is only a web TV launch. The real, the satellite launch will be happening on 21st December. It's a matter of just two months, just wait for it. But today it's itself, you can feel the difference. This program is right now, we could, using the technology, we could make it available, this particular program, make it available to more than 500,000 medical professionals across the world in 200 countries, uh, in that such a short span. Already we could make a tie-up with IMA, already 200,000 doctors, they are going to be trained, the annual mandatory training, it is going to be done by, through this uh, Web TV hub actually. Now, we are going to make a tie-up this week with the Commonwealth countries, all the Commonwealth countries. We are now talking to the WHO. So, it is going to be a, an official platform for the entire medical in industry. Not only doctors, everyone will be joining hands. So, what we need is three years' time to make it happen. But you should understand that we saved six years. Just because of the effort we put it uh, in the maritime sector, all those things we are now utilizing to make it happen in the next uh, three years. For that, what we have done is we have uh, separated the entire medical industry into 36. Because we have a common go goal that is the public health, the, co the proper health for the public. So, we have given slots for everyone. We don't, uh, uh, we don't mind whether it is through allopathy or Ayurveda or homeo. End of the day, what we need is health for the public. So we have identified various sectors for medical colleges. We have given slots. Uh, for Ayurveda, we have given slot. Uh, allopathy is uh, for the medicine manufacturers, there are, there are slots. So these 36 categories will be controlling the entire show. So our job as a group of engineers behind this project, our job is to unite all these people in three years, uh, teach the medical community how to run this channel, and after that, as usual, we have to exit. You have to decide whether we should continue or not, but I am 100% sure that in three years, we will be able to make you train to run it by yourself, and it will be the ultimate uh, tool for you to communicate to each other, in future, uh, medical representatives, they don't need to go and knock at the doors of the doctors. Technology is there. They can sit down at one place. Doctors, whenever they are free, they will uh, click on their keyboard and make uh, the world uh, know that their time is available for a communication, online communication. And there will be a price tag for each minute of that doctor. So doctor is happy to uh, sell his time. Uh, the medical rep is uh, more happy to contact him, maybe from another country. So like this, uh, uh, using the technology, we are going to increase the efficiency in all sectors. In the same platform, we are going to develop the medical city concept, where uh, 50, at least 50% of the medical professionals can uh, stay together, work, uh, work together, uh, educate the next uh, level of uh, professionals. So this already started in the marine sector. The marine uh, uh, cities already started forming. It can be formed with uh, 50 people or 500 people or 5,000 people across the world. So this kind of uh, innovative things, a uh, lot of things we can uh, uh, start functioning in this, uh, using this channel. Uh, latest uh, research we just started is the medical horoscope concept. We are all uh, believing in horoscope, uh, especially as per the uh, Indian uh, mythology, but uh, a real, the global horoscope, a global requirement, a universal requirement, what is in the medical field is a medical horoscope. So in a short span, if uh, through medical, uh, medical Biz TV, we will uh, make sure that uh, this medical horoscope is a reality. So like this, every individual, we believe that every individual got some creative element in your mind. So you just share with, you have a platform, if you have an idea, you just share with us. We will uh, make it happen. We have the legal still available to help you to patent it. 
we have the research wing available to develop it you don't need to leave your profession by working in your field itself in the working in the same place uh, we can um, help you to develop those concepts uh, there are so so many there is uh, no upper limit for your um, uh, dreams all these things are going to be happened uh, in due course in the next uh, two months through the web tv we will be uh, educating you what all the possibilities uh, in this project uh, so just wait for you wait for it and what we need right now is the maximum contents uh, rich contents required for the public and for the professionals web tv am will be exclusively for the uh, medical fraternity but uh, the television channel will be for the public so every, uh, when we started uh, the marine beast tv there was zero content available in the industry but right now we got 7000 valuable content uh, uh, which are collected in the last 6 years from various part and uh, which are created but in the medical uh, industry already thousands of hours of contents are available we, uh, we know that uh, every television channel got at least half an hour slot for the uh, medical industry but the, what we need is something more in, uh, um, um, infotainment programs so that people will not take the remote and change to another entertainment channel so whenever you if you find out some valuable infotainment program just share that link we will make sure the original the master cds are taken from the creators and let us share it to the world take it as your uh, uh, personal responsibility or professional responsibility to make this venture uh, a success because this is not any commercial uh, venture belongs to a single person or a company this is belongs to the uh, medical fraternity medical professionals from all the fields this is the uh, platform where every uh, medical professional can uh, join hands and uh, uh, they can work together for a common goal and i wish you all the best for the success of this thing and uh, uh, same time i thank the organizers for giving this platform to launch our web tv thank you very much thank you so much for the inspiring speech i request i request you to please come to the stage for the inauguration ceremony now i invite our chief guest for the day prof sir michael kid president bonka world organization of family Do doctors to the stage for the inauguration ceremony i would also like to invite mrs abhini sohan managing director of iris group of companies mr satish kumar project director medibis tv dr rajeshri amma honorary director medibis tv mr hari kumar project manager medibis tv onto the stage please we have now arrived to the much awaited moment the official launch of medibis tv's online arm web tv Ladies and gentlemen a big round of applause please our web tv is now officially inaugurated i request all our dignitaries to kindly take their seats below i request professor michael k to kindly address the gathering well thank you very much that was a world first for me too i've never launched a global tv website before that's just extraordinary so thank you and i press the press the right button Uh, congratulations! I think this is a very exciting innovation. It's showing us the future. It's sharing information about healthcare with the people of the world. It's helping doctors all around the world to update their own knowledge and uh, and working together. So I think this is a wonderful, wonderful innovation, and I wish you all strength and all success in the future. Thank you very much. 
Now let me introduce you to the Medivis TV's unique venture, World MediClub, with a motto to create a better and healthy world. World MediClub is a non-profit making community which provides professional and personal advancement to the organization through our customized benefits and expert advice. Let's have a glimpse on what the club is all about. The modern healthcare industry is divided into many subsectors, depending on the multifaceted teams of trained professionals and paraprofessionals to meet the health needs of our world. From physicians to surgeons, paramedical officers to pharmacists, nurses to managers, administrators to underwriters to medical malpractice attorneys, marketeers to investors and shareholders of for-profit services all contribute to this fastest growing industry. These professionals provide the best healthcare services for us from primary to secondary and tertiary levels. To improve access, coverage and the quality of health services, World Medi Club, WMC, a non-profit organization designed for the continuous and conscious development of the medical industry has been initiated. Our aim is to support the field of medicine while developing a close-knit relationship among different medical associations and their related departments. World Medi Club aims to function at local, national and international level to spread the message of healthy living in our community through its strategic alliances and help advance every facet of the medical industry and reflect its unique perspective to our society. So what does it take to be a WMCN? Absolutely nothing. World Medi Club needs healthcare professionals to come together and contribute towards the advancement of the medical community and help us serve the world. As an associate, World Medi Club will open for you a complete new world with a wide array of opportunities. Through WMC, contribute your share towards the development aid, volunteer and help support the delivery and financing of healthcare services among large segments of the population. World Medi Club invites you to associate with us and spread the message of healthy living. Because together we can. I request Dr. Vasudevan to please come up on the stage for the official inauguration of World Medi Club. I would also like to invite Dr. Abul Hazan, Secretary IMA CGP Headquarters, and Dr. Pula Rao, Dean IMA CGP Headquarters, to receive the World Medical Certificate. We are privileged to have IMA CGP as the first member of World Medi Club. Dr. Vas Devan is a winner of Dr. B.Z. Roy Award for Eminent Medical Teacher from President of India. His, he was a President, Association of Clinical Biochemists of India during 2010. He is also the author of Textbook of Biochemistry for Medical Student, now in the sixth edition. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause, please. I request Dr. Vasudevan to kindly address the gathering. When Neil Armstrong put his foot in the in moon, he told that this is a small step to him, but it is a, it is a leap to mankind. It is something like that here also. It is a small gathering here. We are starting something new and I am sure it will be a great leap and it will bring thousands of people, millions of people in, in the good connectivity. And uh, we, it is always a great thing to be the first. And here is a first thing that uh, the medical TV 
is launched. We always remember Columbus that he, he went to west to reach east. We always remember somebody else also to, to make the first thing, first leap. And this is also the first thing that is taking place that a medical, completely devoted to medical field, a TV is uh, launched. It is also, a, it is for the last 20 or 30 years, the medical field is expanding like a great thing and always it is expanding. And it is necessary to have connectivity. What is be being generated at one end of the world, it has to be transmitted and translated into the other part of the globe. And that is what is happening here. And there are, it is always, some of these people are always eccentric. And Columbus was an eccentric, Vasco de Gama was an eccentric. Similarly here also, a small group of people, eccentric people, but at the same time having a very great ambition to connect many of the people, literally millions of people of, world, of medical community. And here is a platform for the medical community. And I am sure that this will grow bigger and bigger and I, and I wish all the success for this ent enterprise. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. I would now like to invite our project director on stage to honor Dr. Arul Raj, founder and chairman Arul's group, chief patron IMA CGP, who made all the efforts to help us associate with Indian Medical Association. Dr. Arul Raj, I kindly request you to please come up on the stage and accept our kind token of appreciation. Ladies and gentlemen, a good round of applause, please. Thank you so much, sir. It has been a great knowing you. Sir, I kindly request you to be on stage to announce the winners of the exciting Liquid Rock Contest. And the winner is Dr. K.M. Abul Hazan, Honorary Secretary, IMA CGP Headquarters. Mr. Rao Srinivas, so next one, Mr. Benjamin Sujit Kumar, IMA Koti Hyderabad, Mr. Benjamin Sujit Kumar, Dr. Saba Afreen, Sridhar FBS, and the first prize winner is Dr. Abul Hazan. It's a wonderful, it's a wonderful camera. Mrs. Mr. Rao Srinivas. Congratulations, Mr. Benjamin Sujit Kumar. That is an exciting houseboat trip to Alapi, to backwaters of Kerala. Dr. Saba Afreen. That's again an exciting uh, bottle trip. Mrs. Sridhar, an exciting stay at a river resort. Congratulations, winners. I now request Dr. Arul Raj to speak a few words. Thanks, Medibis team. This is not a time to speak. It's a time to drink and relax, but still, I mean, you are all keen, but I'd like to thank the Medibis DV for joining uh, with the Indian Medical Association in India and Commonwealth Medical Association globally. I am happy to uh, hear from the, I mean, uh, CEO of Medibis TV that they are trying to bring the medical community together on board on this important communication media. But I would like to stress, the leader of the health profession is a doctor, allopathic doctor. He has to be the leader. There can be any amount of uh, followers, but leader has to be. In that direction, Indian Medical Association in India and Commonwealth Medical Association globally should come to the forefront and they should lead that. That way, if it is organized, it will sustain itself. The results, you need not wait for three years. Within a year, you should see that. I assure you, I am sure this venture should go well and serve to the community, that is the public, as well as the health professionals. That is what I lead in Commonwealth. I am the chair of the Commonwealth Health Profession Alliance. I lead the doctors, pharmacies, nurses, everywhere. Catherine is the vice chair for it. Therefore, it's a good concept. Kindly take it forward with the leader. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. Thank you for the kind words, sir. Thank you, everyone. Hope you all enjoy the evening, ladies and gentlemen. You have been a lovely audience to us. Thank you so much. See you.
Thank you.